the Minister for Labor was here of Qatar, Dr. Ali. I was able to push him to get an additional 200,000 jobs. Currently, there are 67,000 Kenyans working in Qatar, mm. different fields. If we can get 200,000 uh, jobs in Qatar, it's, it's good for us because uh, it means that we'll be able to absorb a lot of people who've come out of school with degrees, diplomas in hospitality and others who are sitting at home without any work as we wait for this economy to grow. You know, many people are asking a question you may ask is, why are you pushing for job migration? Our president, William Ruto, has been very clear. We are on track to grow the economy. Currently, we have, uh, you know, over 5 million unemployed people. Unemployment rate is quite high in this country, 5.6%. So for us to be able to grow the economy, to absorb the people who are coming in, it will take time. So in the meantime, we are finding people opportunities to, you know, to work and make money as we grow the economy. And it's also a brain gain because they go there and get a lot of good techniques, good working habits, and they come back here and help build our country. Brain gain as opposed to brain drain? Exactly. Because we have uh, a large expense. Let me ask you. If you look at the number of nurses that are, are, are graduate every year, the number of people graduating every year. We've got about a million people graduating every year in a country that can only absorb 200,000. I mean, that's a story, you know, of our life. And that's where we want to grow the economy so we can absorb more. So you get 800,000 trained people in different fields who are just sitting here. And uh, when they go, and this has been a very good experience, when they go overseas, they are able to gain skills of how better to do things, you know, especially as we go into the arena of technology and doing things. It, it is funny. Uh -huh. You know, this company that is recruiting is very strict. And I'm very proud to say that I think for the first time in a long time, people are being recruited based on what you're bringing to the table. Nobody cares your tribe, where you came from, your gender. Nobody cares. You know, you get to the recruiting center in the morning, there's nobody who is trying to say, hi, we are Peter Mbele, Hakuna. It's first come, first serve. And you all go to the room, nobody is passing anybody. You get your documents, you are pre-screened. If you don't pass, you go. If you pass, you follow the line. And then you are interviewed. And uh, many people have flopped, uh, unfortunately. You find that out of maybe 100 people interviewed, five are taken, because of the standards are very high. You know, this is a country that is in the first world in terms of technology and the way they operate. So you have to be very good at what you do. So many people, the first day was a big joke, uh, a few weeks, a few days ago. Uh, people came, I mean, you're coming for an interview wearing a hoodie. You know, mm. people came to interview wearing uh, sneakers. Mm. No, they can't get shoes, you know. Yeah. You can even borrow a suit from somebody. People came wearing T-shirts, you know. Hata singenge you know. I mean, you, you're coming for a job interview. No, but if I'm really coming prepared, for a job you know? to support construction. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I mean, these are coming for hospitality jobs. Even for construction, you need to look neat. You need to be organized. You need to wear good shoes or whatever shoes you are. You get an overall from somewhere so that as you do your wiring, you look the part. You know, and so it is, it is a process for Kenyans to also know that looking for a job is also a job. Mm -hmm. You have to have the right figure. Today, there was a young man who was uh, annoyed because they refused to interview him because he had a beard. And he said, they should interview me at a camera beard. But the work you're doing, you can't go and start serving people in a restaurant, in a hotel uh, with a beard. You know, that's the industry standards. Mm -hmm. It's like telling the military, I want to join the military, like in Nintendo Kona Rastas, Nintendo na Afro. Mm -hmm. Hey, you must take me. You know what I mean? So people have to realize that you are employed to work in a company, and the company has preferences of the kind of people it wants to employ. Well,